Meantime on BBC One, it's sport all the way. Match of the day. Oldham so close to the final four years ago, losing a semi-final replay to Manchester United, you recall. Barnsley now under the guidance of Viv Anderson, a finalist last year with Sheffield Wednesday. The commentator is Tony Gubber. Three seasons ago here at Boundary Park, Neil Redfern scored the injury time penalty that won Oldham the second division championship. But he was transferred four months later and today returns as the top goal scorer in a Barnsley team looking to add another Premiership scalp to the 15 already dumped out of the FA Cup. Well, Oldham's only team change today was predictable with Sean McCarthy cup tied. Darren Beckford will be up front with Graham Sharp, who has scored a goal in a Wembley Cup final in Everton's success in 1984. The Cup is a welcome distraction for Barnsley, who face a relegation struggle at the bottom of Division 1. They're unchanged from the team which won 3-0 against Stoke last Saturday. They'll play with three at the back. Redfern, number eight, will be in midfield, the role that he wanted at Oldham but couldn't get. Number seven, Brendan O'Connell, will tuck in behind the front two. John Watson of Whitley Bay is the referee. It's the fifth round of the FA Cup. It's Lancashire versus Yorkshire. It's the only all-Northern tie. And two sides meeting here who consider themselves virtually Derby opponents, just the Pennines separating them. Hold them in their blue shirts. Barnsley in the red shirts and black shorts. With Anderson now 37. Capped 30 times as an England player, enjoying his first taste of management. Here's Rick Holden. Knocks in an early cross. Beckford didn't get to it. And here's Redfern, the former Oldham player, who will be reveling in the atmosphere. And also excited at the chance to show Joe Royal that he made a mistake in transferring him. Was Craig Fleming getting involved? Nine is Andy Rammel trying to find a bit of space, and he does. Rammel's headed down, it rebounded. Holden's attempted clearance came back off Rammel, and it's behind for a goal kick. But Rammel might have made more of that. A player picked up from non league football by Alex Ferguson some time ago and taken to Old Trafford although he never got into Manchester United's first team and then moved on finally to Barnsley here's Darren Beckford back very deep oh he's given it to Peyton Hallworth's on the floor Peyton ended up on the floor as well and he's running to the referee but Mr Watson saw no offence in that and now an offside and there's a feverish argument going on Andy Peyton furious with the referee feels that that should have been a penalty it was certainly very lax by John Hallworth but was there an offence O'Connell underneath it helps it on Peyton's there Fleming didn't clear it it's loose Eaton Wilson there wasn't a lot of pace on it otherwise John Hallworth would have been beaten Danny Wilson the player coach with the shot and Hallworth with just enough time to get down and stop it with his right arm. Nicky Eden, who had the initial shot. But that's the closest, really, that we've come to a score with just over half an hour played.
Barnsley have built quite a reputation as a battling cup side in the last few seasons. They've reached this fifth round five times in the last ten seasons. Only once progressing any further. Holden hasn't really got away down this left side yet. There are two on him in a flash. Break is here by Bernard. Oh, it just slipped, but he kept possession. Didn't find Beckford. Here's Sharp. Lays it back. Saw Pedersen, who had the shot. Sharp was in a good position. And again, the ball was stuck under his feet for a moment. Played back to the Norwegian. And it was a good stop by Butler. Peyton. Fleming marks him. Still Peyton. Onto his right foot. It was well placed. And Falworth pulled off a spectacular save. There didn't seem to be a lot of pace behind it. Bernard's header. Then Milligan. Then Sharp. Macon. Here's Fleming. Again, it was easy for Barnsley to deal with. Rammel nicely directed down to O'Connell. Again, they've piled red shirts in there. It's loose. The shot was by Andy Payton. He's protesting to the referee that there might have been a hand involved in stopping that. But it was point blank. Came off Jobson. And it was Jobson who charged it down. Fleming down for Wilson, who didn't get it. Milligan got there first. Sharp. Here's a good break by Oldham. They've got player spare. Bernard. Pedersen goes outside him. They're inside the penalty area. What can he deliver? Into the near post. And it was Mick Milligan, the captain, who arrived. And he's getting a mouthful from Darren Beckford. But that was one of the few occasions when Oldham have had the extra player. And Milligan tried to backheel it as Beckford came in. Here's Beckford. Still Beckford. Off the post by Paul Bernard. And it's Barnsley's turn to survive a scare Redfern didn't keep his feet a free kick is given and it's a moment for everybody to catch their breath including the commentator Darren Beckford showing his strength out wide came inside the defender looked up to see that Paul Bernard had arrived delivered it to the older number 11 and he hit the woodwork Andy Ritchie now 33 on as a replacement for Neil MacDonald. Well, he played 20 matches earlier in the season, Andy Ritchie, but he's been out for the last five. And now on as a second half substitute for Zoldan try to win this match at home, which is increasingly looking like a replay at Oakwell. Redfern hoisted in, left-footed. Danny Wilson. Well, he hit it well and he hit it through. It needed a good save. Maybe a, an ounce more speed on the ball would have beaten Hallworth. Well, that's a good long kick. That's fallen nicely for Ritchie, just on the edge of the area. Ritchie's broken the deadlock. The substitute only on the field for three or four minutes. And he gives Oldham the lead. Sharp, who got across, it came off Taggart, the captain, and it was perfect for Ritchie. He didn't need inviting twice. Still, Joe Royal's face isn't creased by a smile, but he must be happier now. 
is Andy Ritchie, the goal scorer. Look how quickly Barsley are at him. But he's got it out to Bernard. Good cross in. Came back off the woodwork by Richard Jobson. Tremendous header one in the air by the Oldham number five. The whistle's already gone, the players can't hear it. Well, Richard Jobson, always up for the set pieces. Great header to win, and denied by the crossbar. It's going to take something desperate and dramatic if Barnsley had to salvage something. O'Connell, left foot sharp, there were three in the middle and it was on the near post. Referee has checked his watch. And Barnsley's cup run may be over. Sharp goes outside them. Making it difficult for Lee Butler to kick up field where they've now got three permanently positioned. Holden puts it out. It must have deflected off the defender because the throw is given to Oldham. Joe Royal, the more animated of the two managers as we move towards stoppage time. Here's Taggart. Oh, Redfern, he's given it to Darren Beckford. Beckford! Butler saved it and finally scooped it out to Taggart. It would have been all over then. Here comes Taggart, powering forward. Play waved on, Wilson knocks it out. Knocked in by Eden. O'Connell missed it, now it's loose. O'Connell. Oh, finally out by Fleming. And there's a flag up on this far side, an offside to Oldham relief. What a scrap it's been. Premier League will be very, very happy to come through this one with a 1-0 victory. And that's the result. The substitute, Andy Ritchie, with that goal in just over an hour of play, sending Oldham through into the quarter-finals for the first time since their cup run of 1990, when they went on to the semi-final. Oldham will feel it's been a bright, cheery afternoon. It's been an exciting, pulsating cup tie. Barnsley played their part, but in the end just couldn't fashion a goal. But it's not an afternoon when anyone will complain about the level of entertainment. Oldham won, Barnsley nil. You seem to have been around a long time. What is it now, 33 and holding? Yeah, I'm 33, my hair's 84. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but if you can score yeah. goals like that, nobody minds. Well, no, I mean, uh, you know, since uh, since I had my back uh, operated on, I've, I've felt great. And just recently, I've been feeling probably as good as I, uh, as I felt before I, I had to have the operation. So I'm just getting back into it. It's been a long haul, but, uh, you know, I feel as though I'm fit enough and I could go on to, you know, who knows, I might be catching my old mate Ray Wilkins up. And the silly question always is, who do you fancy in the next round? I don't really think you, man you, you, you know, it matters. I mean, obviously, if we, if we can keep away from Man United, that would be nice. But uh, as long as we get a home, home tie, uh, I don't think that we've got anybody else to fear, really. Well done, Andy. What do you think? Hold on for the cup. You'll only get 10 to 1. 10 to 1's the figure now. Aren't yeah, I'm afraid yeah. my 50 pence will be going elsewhere, Des, but... Not going there. No, I don't think it'll be going all of them to win. But if they have a good run in the cup, then I definitely think it'll help their cause in the Premiership. Take Sheffield United last season. They got the semi-final. I think that helped them stay up. They might do the same for Oldham this season. That's a good point. Sure. I thought Barnes was a bit unlucky. First down, they were the better side. And, uh, you know, a win there would have helped them in their relegation battle they've got sure. in Division 1. That was a close, another close one.